Go ahead, anybody. Uh, I got off the start, I'm sure you wanted to, up 18, 17, so I got to the second quarter. It felt like maybe the close of the second, and then obviously the third quarter is where things changed. Anything in particular stick out to you during that stretch? Well, I think Tatum became more aggressive, you know, the, when after when he when he re-entered the game. And then uh, to start the third, you know, he was for sure, you know. So I think that was part of it. And then, uh, you know, I think they picked up their defensive intensity in the third. You know, we, we struggled to guard them. Actually, the whole game, I mean, we were up because we were scoring at a really high clip, which is going to be hard to do against them for the whole game. But, um, you know, we never were able to guard them for any sustained period of time. Well, you mentioned the second half. Such, such a, a good first half. I mean, we have a contrasting pass like that. The coach just goes through your mind as you see well, you watch the film and you see what was different. I mean, that's every game, to be honest with you. I mean, you're not going to, I don't think there's many times against a team like them, you're not going to score 132. You know, they're the seventh best defensive team in the league. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's 16 points in this league is not a lot, as you know, right? I mean, uh, you lose 16 point leads in a quarter every night. So, uh, you know, that's why you watch the film and, and see what we can do better and hopefully do it better Monday. And then the bench reduction tonight for them, they had a really huge advantage there. Just, I know Brock had 30 points himself, but when there's a big spare like that, how comes it from Dallas to be able to win the game when there's a big? Oh, he was great. I mean, and he played a lot more minutes, obviously, when Derek White went down. So, I mean, Malcolm's obviously, he's a starter on most teams. So, uh, he's a terrific player. He was, a, I think, a huge pickup for them, um, and he's having a great year. What does it say about this team, even though the lanes haven't been there, the results haven't been what you guys wanted? The effort seems to be there every single night, even against a team like Boston. No, we, it's, the, the effort is just, it's not, it's not effort based at all. And, you know, sometimes, even in the second half, you, can, you know, if you were in the locker room, you saw the frustration. The, when you don't score, sometimes it can look bad. You know what I mean? And we don't, obviously, we don't have a lot of room for error. So, uh, you miss a couple shots, they make a couple threes. Uh, you know, look, they're terrific. I mean, they're good enough to win it, and uh, and uh, they can score in bunches. But there's a reason they're top they're top eight in both offense and defense, and you can't have a bad three and a half four minutes. It makes it hard. When you got such a young team like you do, um, and they're having to play because of some guys being injured. Does that kind of force them to not have to worry about you know, all the shows are going to be because they have to go out there for it? I would say that in my experiences, uh, you know, it depends how much they understand. I mean, the best players, you know, the guys that maximize their potential, they have the best careers. You know, they learn things when they're young, but they have the right approach from the get-go. You know, they're serious. You don't have to tell them stuff eight, nine times. Uh, you know, I think that, that, that for sure, you know, playing at games, maturation is all part of it. But, um, you know, it's, uh, I think most of our guys are handling it pretty well. Good.